But when I tell you the black woman is the least protected of them all, like Malcolm X said, did y'all see Chris Fletcher just waltz his ass right on past? He could have tried to calm Martell down or at least attempted to help. Hey, this is Sensibility Speaks. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This channel discusses trending topics, celebrity news, and reality TV. Is it me or does Martel Hope give you Ike Turner vibes? But let's continue. So listen. You see there? The babies don't miss ish. She looking at everything. So when I step into the roller rink and whatnot, and Melanie's right there at the desk and she's telling me to talk to you for a moment. And I'm like, okay, what's up? Bama, you know what's up. You came uninvited. You know, so what's going through my head is, what the hell you want to talk about right now? So it got to be some That's what I'm thinking. So that was all I was thinking. Like, it was about to be some Y'all do realize he does this shit on purpose, but we finna get into it. I didn't tell you you could come today. Uh, this is a party I'm throwing for my daughter. You throw one for yours. Okay? Or have you thrown a party for any of your children since I left you? Poor little Mariah, she can barely get her skates on, paying attention to her daddy acting an ass, and she's still looking. Poor baby. It's a private event that I am doing. I am asking you to remove yourself. I just would rather you can get her later today. Martell, based on the Madison County visitation for every family black, white, Asian in this state, odd years birthdays are mother. It's an odd year. I don't have to. I don't have to invite you. You're welcome to the Mariah later on. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate my daughter. You and I See, I don't know if Carlos King in production put him up to it. My spidey senses tell me they had a hand in this, but I think he wanted to be disruptive and to act a donkey in a complete ass all on his own. And he probably didn't need a whole lot of pride. And see, this is when he went to see Sheree. He knew he wasn't going to come back to get little Mariah. He knew he wasn't going to do that. That's why he wanted to show his face and act the ass. He wanted to disrupt her peace, meaning the baby's peace, Melody's peace, because it is all about him. He is a narcissistic asshole. If I said it once, I said it a thousand times. I've been saying it since I watched the show. And not only is he a narcissist, he's a malignant narcissist, right? And see, I remember I used to say, I don't know if he borders on psychopathy or sociopathy. You know, I ain't diagnosing him. Yeah, and see, he know he wasn't going to get that girl because he was going down to hang out with Sheree. He never came back to pick her up. So that's why he wanted to show his damn face and to make her look like, oh, she's such a bad mom. But you heard Melody say, according to the courts, the mom or whoever have them odd years and then the father has the kids even years, according to Madison County courts in terms of how they do their custody agreements. But no, he thinks he's bigger than the damn law. He's just going to do what the hell he wants to do. You know, all of this is your own undoing. You decided that you wanted to step out on your family, your wife, your kids, and just do what the hell you wanted to do. You wanted to browbeat Melody into submission because you couldn't control her and she got too big for you. You knew it, she knew it, God knew it, and everybody knew it. So you wanted her to come down a few notches, a few sizes, and so what did you do? You got them cheating on her is what you did. So she can focus on you because you felt like her focus lied elsewhere. Oh my God, let's continue. Dude, later on, it's still her birthday. Are you tripping? I don't want this to turn into a scene. So I'm trying my best to lower the temperatures and keep the drama down. I mean, it's just it's a lot right now. So I'm trying to figure out a way to calm everybody down and hopefully get Martell out of here as quietly as possible. 
See, that is a whole lot of tiptoeing that she has to do around that man because he is miserable as hell, as we all know, especially for those of us that watch the show. He is projecting all of that misery and trying to transfer all of that negative energy onto her because she is living her best life. But let's not get it twisted. We know why he popped up because he thought at that time she was dating Devin Keith. He wanted to see if her new boo, her new man was up in there so he can act an ass, possibly try to fight the dude. He wanted to lay eyes on every man in there to see if one of them were her love interest. Let's not play games. You're welcome to dinner later. I don't have a problem with that. Well, I'm you can you celebrate it today. Later on, it's still today. Are you? I don't get the issue. It's still today, her birthday. Uh, and I said, you're welcome to get her later on. Even though it's an odd year and I don't have to. You can get her later on. You can, you can, my tail, and you had an invitation to come. But guess where you were? And you were invited. Do you see how that Bama lies so easily and so effortlessly? So, again, for those of us who've been following social media, all the shenanigans behind the scene, this is during a time a year or two ago, remember, before they were fully divorced, Melody used to have the kids all the time because he was crying broke, he was in a slumber, because all of this is the chaos he caused by stepping out cheating or what have you. But nonetheless, he didn't spend any time with the kids. He wouldn't even acknowledge the kids on damn social media for their birthday. But then he was at AC's, Arian Carey's, daughter's birthday party but he couldn't come to his own daughter's birthday party but i remember that her other baby daddy paris's daddy the little girl had filmed it or whatever like that i don't know if it was on facebook ig or whatever but the footage was around of him at that party ducking and dodging trying to hide with the little boy hollering and screaming and you just looking at um ac and she just grinning in the camera trying to get control of him and you trying to duck off so you wouldn't be seen in the camera see it was during that time you were being nasty to melody spending time with your side chick at the time, you know, with your little peasant, and you ain't want to acknowledge your own kids, and then you cut off your nose and spite your face. So no, you didn't come to the party, and Miss Van and um, Melody aren't lying. See, Melody needed to have called the cops on his ass just to make an example out of him. So anyway, he's so full of shit. We're going to get to the cops part in a minute. And you were invited. Yes, you were invited. Okay, y'all, so. You ain't in this thing, You when I tell you the black woman is the least protected of them all, like Malcolm X said, did y'all see Chris Fletcher just waltz his ass right on past? He could have tried to calm Martell down or at least attempted to help. I didn't see any men around in that scene. I'm sure production was hovering around. But did you hear him hollering in that woman's face, Miss Van? And I don't know if that's one of um, Melody's aunts or who the older woman was, but that's some disrespectful ish. You don't talk to nobody like that. You cannot tell me that that mother sucker was not abusive. You know, Melody is a strong sister. She is full of esteem. She knows her worth and all of that. And I'm sure that had she been a weaker woman, he would have tried to whip her ass. You can't tell me that Bama don't have abusive tendencies. Well, it's quite obvious he does, but I'm sure he's tried to, to probably put hands on her. I bet my bottom dollar, but she's not that type of woman that's going to take that. So he probably straddled the fence, but I'm sure he tried to grab her up a time or two, but she fought back or she wasn't having it because that's an abusive mofo. You can't tell me nothing different. Let's continue. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't make me have the police escort you by this private event. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Mel is up here talking about she's gonna call the police and things of that nature. And that's been her, that's been her thing. You know, she's called the police on me multiple times. And every time things have gone in my favor, that tells you a lot right there. You know, she's trying to, to hurt me in any way she can. And that we're supposed to be um, co-parenting effectively. I don't think that would even came out of her mouth. Martel was definitely pushing me as far as he could, even if that meant calling the police. I mean, he very clearly said he don't care when I mentioned it. Like, I just wish he would throw his parties on his time the same way I've had Thanksgivings and Christmases on my time versus when he has them. I wish that I could get the same respect. But now that he's gone, I'm happy. Now I can get back to having fun and enjoying the people who are on the 
According to Proverbs 14, a fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control, Martel. Okay. What gets me is he lied and said that Mariah texted him about the party, but I think he reached out to her. No, he texted her and probably told her he was going to show up. See, I wish Melody would have called the police. I would have humiliated his ass, but I get that she didn't want to make a scene and she didn't want to ruin Malia and Mariah's birthday party. So I do get that part, but as much of a paper trail on him she could get, I would build a case, but I'm sure she's doing that because she's a smart cookie. But as far as him saying, y'all heard him say that she always calls the police, but nothing ever happens because you are a manipulative mofo. I don't know what you're telling the police. I don't know what type of Jekyll and Hyde shit you're doing when the police show up. But you know what? Your days are numbered, honey, but it's only a matter of time. Because the way he hollered in that woman's face, I can only imagine how he acts when cameras aren't around, when he and Melody were fully married, living in the same house in the same domicile. I can only imagine how he treated her. But see, Martel, there's a thing called consequences. You have consequences to your actions. You want the same level of access that you had when you guys were still married, but you don't get that. You had the nerve to go to the judge what, either the day before or the day of the party or whatever, I think under unique circumstances, if it's something, you know, I don't know, maybe graduations don't get me to lying, but you can get special permission to see the child. And so from what I understand, word on the curb is the judge told him no, but he took it upon himself anyway to just say F what the judge say, F the courts, F the damn custody agreement, F even years and odd years. I'm going to show up any damn way and just do me. See, he's trying to control her. He's trying to coerce her into doing what he wants to do and to have her bend at his will. But no, honey, there are consequences to your actions. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't beat her into submission. You can't intimidate her. You can't run her life. He's trying to run her damn and tire her out until she just says, you know what, either one, go back to him. Or two, just do whatever the hell he says. It don't work like that. He's a sick puppy. Martel Holt is a sick ass puppy. But you know what? But you know what? You made this bed. You won't have to lie in it, roll in it, skate in it, and whatever the hell. Roll, skate, and bounce to it, honey. This is the bed that you made, and you got to lie in it, brother. These are consequences to the actions. You cheated. You treated her like shit. And now, you know what? You're on the outside looking in, busting up on parties and shit because you won't invite it. Okay? All right, y'all, this is Sensibility Speaks. Welcome to my channel. And thank you guys for helping me get to 2K. Thank you for my returning subscribers and to the newer ones. Definitely appreciate you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And continue to hit the notification bell so you can stay abreast of my new content. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.